It's time for the Indoor Archery World Series Finals gold medal match for Compound Men. As we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, celebrating an outstanding season of archery across the world. As it all comes to a conclusion here, shooting for gold and silver. Let's take a look at the brackets. I'm Greg White sitting next to Steve Anderson professional shooter who's been on this stage plenty of times in his young career and who got to this point and how they shot it was so exciting in the elimination rounds and it comes down to these two Mike Schlusser from the Netherlands and Stefan Hansen from Denmark and Steve Anderson when you look at these two archers and you look at what they have accomplished over the years. Mike Schlusser, 26 years old. They call him Mr. Perfect. And Stefan Hansen, 24 years old. What can be said about these? I mean, what are some of the highlights? You've seen these archers because you've shot against them for years. Right, yeah. So Mike, 2013 world champion. You know, that was now seven years ago, right? Amazing. And, yeah, and then Stefan, 2015 world champion. Uh, Mike, Vegas champion twice. Or are we at three times now? I forget. Yeah. Stefan has always been competitive on circuit, Neem champion, uh, Indoor Archery World Cup finalist multiple times, and he's an excellent all-around archer, more than just indoor, he's, a, he's great outdoor, 3D field archery, uh, you know, both of these guys, they're of the, of the young crop of guys coming up, they're the best of all the archers in, in the world right now, they're probably the best, they got long careers ahead of them. And this year in archery was a banner on the compound side of things, Steve, because when you look across at all the bow manufacturers, the major bow manufacturers, 2020 launched some outstanding bows, and including these two archers, one shooting a Hoyt, one shooting a PSE. And, you know, they have these shooter shirts that they're wearing, and they have names on them. And on Stefan Hansen, of course, it says Stefan Hansen. On Mike Schlusser's shirt, it simply says Mr. Perfect. <laughs> right. So Mike was the first to shoot a perfect world archery indoor round, 600 out of 600 points, meaning he shot 60 out of 60 into this 10 ring that we're about to see. Uh, and start this year off with that new bow of his in Macau. Ten get to start the match the first man and Stefan, one of the only other guys to ever do it as well. Now Steve, we've been here now. This is our fourth match in lane number one. Everyone is hit low and to the left. Two times right. champion Each and every archer. Stefan just a hair low, but it, you know, it's been different from lane one to lane two from what I can see. Compound archery, Steve. Cumulative scoring. Tell us what we're going to see. Each out. of these guys is going to shoot 15 arrows. Whoever's got the highest score at the end of this wins. If we go to a tie, then we'll have a one arrow closest to center shoot off. They're going to shoot and ends of three. Out. Three arrows at a time. Perfect arrows from both of them right there. Like I said, these guys two of the best young archers in the game. Occasionally things get a little hairy for them when, when the pressure ramps up, but that's true of every archer. And uh, we're hoping to see a great match between the two of them. Perfect start for Mike with 30 points. Stephen now Steve, there's 150 points available total. Three arrows, five ends, 15 arrows, max score 10 per arrow. How difficult is it in this spotlight, knowing that there's a gold medal on the line for Indoor Archery World Series Finals to shoot a perfect 150? Uh, how easy is it for me or for these guys? Because uh, that's different. Yeah. <laughs> for me, it's probably not going to happen. Um, for everybody, it's really extremely hard. There, there's been one time I've shot a perfect 150 in a, in a metal match, and, and that seems like ages ago, but you don't see it too often, right? You're going to see the pressure ramp up, especially at the end. This might be a scenario of whoever blinks first. And, and uh, looking at these guys' scores through the matches, right, I think Stefan only missed one the whole time. You know? yeah. And then you go back to his Vegas round from this morning. He didn't miss a single X. So he, he said he's essentially shot 74 out of 75 shots in the 10 ring that we're looking at here so far today. And that 10 ring, of course, is 18 meters or 20 yards, just about downrange. And the 10 ring Steve is talking about is two centimeters across, which is about the size of a, a U.S. penny. And so they are shooting at that 20 yards downrange. And these two top 
world archers are center punching it. Right, yeah, they're both on their game right now. And, you know, a lot of sports, you get nervous uh, in a big match or a big game or a big moment of that. And uh, you get to go exert that energy, you know, running or jumping or whatever that sport might offer. But in archery, when you get that, that large surge of adrenaline, you have to maintain focus and uh, stay still. You know, and that can be extremely hard. So these guys are really showing it right now. And Steve and I just looked at each other, and the way that Mike Schlusser is shooting is incredible. Both of them. That Little one looks like the first one out. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Uh, they're, they're calling it a, a nine star, so that's a nine maybe in archery speak. Our second end of scoring for five. And Mike Schlusser with a perfect 30. So not only do these guys usually shoot tens, but they usually shoot center tens. Not just catch the line. They're shooting the middle of that thing. Like that. You can see some movement in Hansen's arm. And that's part of those nerves. So Stefan's going to take a nice deep breath. Hansen, of course, into the cardio side of things. He runs five kilometers, likes to run five Ks as often as he can. Of course, the life, Steve, as you know, of an archer at this level, they're no stranger to the United States or any other place in the world, are they? No, they've uh, they've been around. They burn up the sky miles, and, um, you know, a hotel bed is probably more frequent to them than home. So, yeah, good on Stefan for getting out and, and staying in shape and, and uh, you know, adding to his, his archery game through fitness. There are a variety of different types of games in archery. This is indoor. This is, in the United States, a 20-yard game at a target as now we're hearing scores that are coming in. It looks like, Steve, a confirmation that Hansen did shoot a nine. Right. So now, all of a sudden, Schluster's going to take a one-point advantage with three ends of scoring, so nine, nine arrows yeah. remaining, 90 points total. A lot of archery left. Um, and a lot of opportunity to make a mistake. Yes, and and it's very hard to close a match, as we said earlier. And we've seen some fireworks from both of these guys when trying to close matches. So for Stefan, it's going to be a matter of keeping the pressure on. You give points back here, and it's going to let Mike relax. Big deep breath from Hansen as he lines up for his first shot in N3. Yes. Good steady shot. Look at that right in the middle absolutely buried it nearly to the veins yeah he's hit that hole enough that it's uh starting to wear that target out nice another one all you have to do is just hit Good that job. outside line to get the higher value point and that 10 ring as i mentioned before only two centimeters ten. across ten. but steve in all fairness to stefan hansen he has definitely had an up and down indoor season some incredible scores at across the pond where he shot 89 of 90 X's one right. time, but then he's had some matches as we saw a couple weeks ago in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, where the wheels have completely fallen off. He just seems really dialed in right now. Ooh, big bobble, but he got it. He got it. And this, uh, that's huge because Mike's last arrow was, they're calling it a nine star. Again, it's close. They're going to have a judge good on it. That one's no question, but uh, we could see a tie score right here. We're showing 89-89 on the scoreboard. They're going to go verify Mike's arrows, and uh, we'll update you as we know. But yeah, Stefan's you know, faced a, a few struggles, and, and everyone does. It's usually a mental block, some sort of technique issue. Um, and he thinks he's got some stuff figured out. Today, he certainly had it all figured out. There's some volatility in, in an archer's game from one day to the next, but we're shooting today, and Today, he's got it figured out. Today, he's got it figured out, and that's what matters here at the Indoor Archery World Series Finals in Las Vegas, Nevada. Our final match of the evening to decide gold in this competition is 26-year-old Mike Schlusser, who you're looking at right there, against 24-year-old Stefan Hansen. Now, Mike currently ranks second in the World Archery Rankings, and Hansen 13th. And they did give Mike that arrow, so they, they said it was a 10. He was going to stay at 90 points, move to 90 points, rather, and uh, keep a one-point advantage over Stefan. So instead of a tie, as you can see, Hansen staring down that 18 meters. They're replacing targets currently. You can see the crew working on that to 
put up a fresh target face. Why? Well, we saw Stefan's first arrow very deep, and I think it, it probably ruined that target face. So they may have shifted the bail just a little bit, and uh, in doing so, they needed to put up a new target. So both of them shooting at a fresh face. You can see the clock counting down for Hansen. That's his indication. He's got that 10 seconds to get up on the line. And then he has 20 seconds to execute his shot. Bottom left-hand part of your screen is the clock. If for some reason he didn't get that shot off in time, it would be scored as a zero. Yeah, these guys are pretty darn fast. There's another one very deep for Stefan, so that target's uh, having a tough day holding arrows for guys that continue to just smash the middle. Mike Schlusser with another 10. So far, Mr. Perfect, perfect in this round. I hope I just didn't give him the old commentator's curse. But Hansen has only had one misstep so far, and that one point is all it takes. He'll catch the 10 line. He'll get that higher value. Another good shot. Good points. steady hold and nice smooth release for Mike. Mike's looking really good right now. Four arrows to go for these guys. Come on. Oh, that's a big one right there. Oh, man. It just <laughs> shows some sad. Deflated. Absolutely deflated. Mike's got to keep his focus, and this could be one of those big shots. Yeah. Almost a guarantee shot. Nothing is guaranteed as we have one more end of scoring. But so far, Mr. Perfect is perfect in this gold medal indoor archery World Series finals match. Now, Steve, here's the interesting thing. And I've talked to Mike Schlusser about this. You've talked to Mike Schlusser about this. As we watch Mike, he, is a he uses a thumb button on his release. Right. But when we get into these last arrows, especially the last arrow, not everything has gone smooth for Mike Schlusser, has it? He occasionally has some, some moments of uh, anxiousness or anticipation or whatever you want to call it. But uh, we've, seen, we've seen both sides of the coin from him. We've seen where they can come off the rails and he gives up points. And we've seen where he just continues to pound middle. Last time we saw Mike was only about two weeks ago at uh, Lancaster Archery Classic, and he had absolutely no issues closing a big match. So, you know, for Mike, we hope to see that continue. Obviously, Stefan's hoping he gets some points back here, and three arrows to go, closing out the Indoor World Series final. Um, you know, even the best shooter making what he feels is great shots can, can miss that tiny little ten ring. So, number one, Stefan's got to keep the pressure on. If he comes out and shoots a nine, Mike's going to have very little concern. Uh, but if Stefan could come out and shoot a couple tens and then add a third, then uh, we, you could see things get interesting. But yeah, I, like, I, uh, like, I wouldn't want to go into the final end against Mike trailing by two, you know? Not by two. By one, to keep it that close, there's always a chance. At least people right. feel like they have a chance. Right. So a lot on the line for Mr. Perfect, Mike Schlusser leading two points over Stefan Hansen in our final three arrows of competition to decide the winner of the gold medal. Ten. Good 10, just caught the top there. Again, all he has to do is touch the line. You can see he made an adjustment on his sight, so he felt like he needed to go up or down with the way it broke. That one Mike just in on the bottom of the 10 ring for Mike. That's what he needs. Hansen has to have a 10 here to keep his hopes alive. Got it. So when we watch Mike on his last arrow, watch his thumb as it goes around the barrel. So you can see his thumb on the barrel of the trigger there. Ten. Quick shot there Charger, in the 10. Stefan needs this one. If he gets this one, it's the only way he's got a chance. Nine low. So now an eight wins it for Mike. All he needs is uh, the first ring of red to get the win. And he's, he's around the barrel. I think he's going to put in a good one here. Yes. And he does at 10. So Mike Schlusser, Mr. Perfect, scores a perfect 150 points in the gold medal final, the Indoor Archery World Series finals here in Las Vegas. There was no doubt about him wanting that gold medal, Steve. Incredible shooting. All right. Mike, uh, Mr. Perfect is perfect. 
<laughs> is, is that a surprise to anyone? I don't know, but it's an awesome finish for him. That's two tournaments in a row we've seen Mike close the match with absolute style. And uh, looks like he's getting over some of those demons that have haunted him in the past. Awesome, awesome World Series season for Mike. Uh, he's had some, some great tournaments along the way, and now to, to see him finish it as a champion, I'm really happy for him. Most of the time, a 147 could net you a win in a finals match of the Indoor Archery World Series final. But it can't do it this time against Mike Schlusser, who comes away shooting 15 perfect tens.